Hey Taurus, welcome back to White Crow Tarot. This is your new moon and Libra reading. It could possibly also be your general love reading. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> um, but regardless, well, take it as it see fits. This is your new moon and Libra reading, Taurus. I'm just playing with your energy a little bit because I'm recording these on the new moon in Libra. You might not see it until tomorrow, though. Okay. General messages only. Take <laughs> take what resonates with you, Taurus. Leave what does not. Go easy on your girl. It's my birthday. <laughs> All right. Taurus, I heard ascension for you. Ascension for you. Do you know, do you understand what's happening? Ascension. Well, okay. So, this is funny. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. But for those of you who my returning subscribers know, I don't look at the Oracle energy or the cards before, of course, we do the reading. You don't know that, but... You just have to take my word for it. Okay, I don't look at the energy, but I was going to use a different deck for you, Taurus, and on the bottom of that deck we had the chariot. And now we also have the chariot again on the bottom of this deck, so that's double confirmation from Spirit for me to tell you that you're meant to see something. You're meant to receive this particular message. This is for you. I don't know what it is, but it's for you. Could be dealing with a cancer, obviously, or be at a distance from something, planning to travel. It is, I said, ascension. Travel. Distance. Ace of Pentacles. Victory. On the split. Oh. Traveling towards a new beginning. Something solid. A new investment. What's going on, please, for Taurus? Shimmer the current energy. What do they need to be made aware of at this time? Please. I'm seeing orbs. I don't know if you are today, Taurus. I am also. I am seeing orbs. I have an orb sitting right behind me, right here, actually. Hmm. Five of Cups. Loss. Queen of Wands. I feel like the need to tell you to go check out Cancer's reading, Taurus. I don't know why. I feel the need to tell you that. Could be dealing with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think. If you are dealing with a Cancer, we did see the Chariot, then you should definitely go check out Cancer's reading. Confidence is in your strength, but we begin with the Five of Cups. So, loss. What else, please? Magician. Manifesting. Gemini, Virgo, calling in, you are the single catalyst of change in a connection, you could also be this Queen of Wands on the rise um, after overcoming some heavy loss, this could be recent past for you. You heard a call from the divine and you stepped in. You're stepping into a higher knowing. You're hearing calls, as it were. Calls. You're being called, Taurus. You're stepping to. The spirit is 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 um calling you to step into your power. When you are inspired to do so, you take action. And it doesn't have to be a big thing. You might be helping someone else go through a time of loss or grief. Shit. 
Show me the challenge, please, for Taurus. Yeah. Seven of Wands. Standing your ground. You're barring, barring an entrance. Not letting anything pass through the door. You're hearing a call to stand your ground and to do something, to defend something, something you know to be true, Taurus. I feel like this is like someone's direct call from Divine. I'm seeing a ton of orbs for you. What is the outcome here for Taurus? Page of Pentacles, Lessons Learned, A New Beginning, A New Beginning. Page of Pentacles, the student, student. Lesson, it's a lesson. Oh, an initiation, gotcha. A lesson, you heard the call. Did you rise to the occasion? You hear the call, will you rise to the occasion? Taurus. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. You heard the call, and you rose to the occasion. It was the end of that for you. You defended something. Uh-huh. True. Ace of Swords. You... You defended the message. The message. After a tower. That could be destabilized. For some of you, this is not directly going happening to you. This is happening around you, Taurus. This is like energy. Show me the energy of Taurus's environment, please. Show me the energy of Taurus's environment. Interesting. Interesting. Queen of Cups. Page of Swords reversed. Page of Wands. Queen of Cups. Taurus. I feel like... feel like one of you is meant to take action and the other is meant to be a witness. There could be two people involved here. There could have been two of you involved here. Two queens. Interesting. One was meant to witness and the other was meant to perform the act. It was victorious. Something got raised up. Something was elevated. It went to the next level. It went on to the next level. Advice, please, for Taurus. Clear jumper, please. Taurus. Eight of Swords. You didn't do the wrong thing. You don't have to overthink it. You freed something. I feel the need to say you freed something. Because Six of Wands st still here. Why the Eight of Swords, please? Or what don't you see? What don't you see, Taurus? Rest. Okay. Okay. Your mind is tired. You performed something. Now you need to quiet your mind. You need to rest. You need to meditate. It was victorious. It was victorious. I feel the need to tell you. 
I don't know what you did. Letter was victorious. Two people, face to face, two of cups, the light, like that orb right there. See it? In a home, someone's home. Death and reverse. Just two of cups and death. There was a death here. A rebirth happened, a transition happened. Someone elevated. You helped someone to elevate. Now, for some of you, that doesn't necessarily, that's, that's another translation. Although, the veil is very thin right now. I'm picking up on a lot of activity. There's a lot going on. For some of you, not all of you, this isn't about anything. Well, you take it how it see fits, okay? You helped someone to elevate. To go to the next level. How is spirit repaying you, though, with some victory? I feel it. Rising to the occasion. You rose to the occasion. Four of Wands. Twin Flame. Union. Ace of Wands. You took action. You were the fool. Job complete. Job all done. You were the fool. It was a birth. 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 Death and rebirth. <laughs> okay. Some of your intuition and fit and abilities are actually really heightened right now, Taurus. I feel the need to say that. You could be seeing things as well. So bear all that in mind. Feels a little vague but it's kind of meant to be. You don't have to question every little detail. You're making sense of it the way it's supposed to be making sense for you and for you, okay? You saw a bird, blackbird, a bird helped you elevate it somehow. Transformation, the dragonfly. Bring love to the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Bring love to the situation. You brought love to the situation, where you will be. If for some of you, if you haven't done this, you will. And for some of you, this is not all necessarily spirit related. You could be called to help someone, I feel the need to say, or you will be. Okay. Yeah. You have wish upon a star. Number thirty nine breaks down to a twelve, which breaks down to a three. Intentions based on your desires and aspirations, the act of consciously committing to a vision, sacrificing something of value, gambling on yourself, trusting that dreams can become reality, the importance of daydreams. This is about knowing that that gift that you have on the inside, you don't have to wait for confirmation from the universe to use it. It's already yours, so start using it. Do you believe your dreams can become real, or do you shrug them off and chide yourself for being unrealistic? What if you could trust that the world around you holds promise you have not yet realized? Perhaps the point all along is not how something can happen, but the power of wishing and intending. We humans have multiple ways to 
ritualize owning a dream we want to see manifest in physical form. Think of a wishing well. You infuse a coin with your intention, tuning in to the feeling of having a particular experience. Tossing the coin into the well symbolizes the act of letting the how go. You're not questioning if something will happen. You let it go, because the moment you set your intention was the moment you set it into being. And you don't have to hold on to that. You don't have to hold tight to what you know is already yours. You can trust it to come back to you. Boomerang. It's kind of like a, yeah, the boomerang effect. Boomerang. Taurus, this is what I have for you today. I hope this resonated with you. Do let me know down in the comments. Leave a like on the video, guys. Subscribe. Don't forget about my master class. I have decided to move back the master class another month to allow more people to join. I do have, thank you for those of you who are currently enrolled. Um, but to allow more people to join, I have moved the class back to November, uh, November 1st. So there's time for many of you, more, more of you to join if you would like to. Taurus, I hope to see some of you in there. Do let me know. Check it out. Link in the description. All right, Taurus. Be good. Take care.